Hey everyone, my name is James and welcome back to Chippy's Couch. So today, we're back for another round of the Master Mode Let's Play. It's a brand new, bright and beautiful day in Terraria 1.4. The atmosphere is kind of on point today. And in today's episode, we're going to be preparing for the Wall of Flesh. And that doesn't mean we're making a hell bridge for 20 minutes. I do actually have some stuff that I want to get done. And I was originally going to do a bunch of preparation for today's episode. And then what I would do is I'd hop in and then film the episode. And I kind of just realized that, you know, the prep is all the fun when it comes to a new update in Terraria. Like, if I start cutting stuff out, where do we stop? Do I stop just before the Wall of Flesh? No, we're going to show it all. So, hey, welcome back. Hope you're all doing well, staying safe, and washing your hands. I like to think that if you're one of the people that watch this show daily, you know, regardless of what you're up to, every single day, you're tuning in. I like to think that I'm a good little reminder for uh, for personal safety, right? You, you tune in, you're like, yeah, I will. I will wash those hands. And maybe you watch this weeks down the road and you're like, all right, maybe I should have done it a couple of weeks ago when he originally intended me to hear it, but I'll do it today. I like both scenarios. So what I'm going to be doing is basically building out two houses real quick. I don't necessarily care about how they look. I won't lie. Like, I feel like when I'm setting up the pylons, I care more about the aesthetics. But what we're doing here is basically just expanding our little, uh, our neighborhood. Because I want the, uh, I want the cloth here, basically. Because in this series so far, we've, ha we've been super lucky, right? We have the, um, the pet. Which a lot of you have pointed out looks like a, uh, a puppeteer. It looks like he's got like strings over my body. And it makes sense as the cloth ear, you know, Skeletron's curse. He's the, the master of it all. I really like that. But we got the pet and we also got the couch in a wanna. So now we need to see if we get a James the cloth ear. Because if you can get a pet, a couch and James the cloth ear first try, then you've got the best look in the world. And actually talking about look real quick... I think you know what we need to do. All right, one seat, two seat, three seat. All right, we're going to have good luck for the day. I'm kind of glad we did that. Almost forgot about it, and I'm pretty sure if I had, I would have failed the Wall of Flesh. That would have been a real shame. Truth is, I don't actually know if we'll do the Wall of Flesh today, because the stuff I want to get done might take a, a good bit of time. So yeah, we're going to be building out just these two houses real quick uh, to get the cloth here, and then to get whatever NPC needs to move in next. I'm not really too bothered. Like I feel like... I've got MP every NPC I really want right now. I really am just kind of more interested in the cloth of year. But then after that, we want to go get a new weapon. Many of you may remember back in the day, I think it was the Terraria Overhaul series. We uh, we classified ourselves as the Shotgun Gang. Boomstick Boys, that was it, right? I'm forgetting my own roots. I'm sorry. Kyle, can you move, please? You are kind of stood in front of the uh, the, the one chest I want to be in. I really don't want to be a YouTuber that talks to NPCs. I don't know why I do this, but I feel like recently they're just more annoying than ever. So yeah, we used to be Boomstick Boys. And when I swapped over to Ranger yesterday, one of you pointed out that there is a new uh, shotgun in the game. Now, I actually haven't seen this shotgun and I'm kind of excited to see it. I'd heard about it and I'm pretty sure we included it, but I didn't use it in the trailer. Uh, and I can't remember what it looks like, but I assumed it was from Blood Moon Fishing. Turns out it's not. So it's called the Quad Barrel Shotgun. And you actually get it from having like an arms dealer in a graveyard. So basically, we're going to have to kill ourselves a bunch today. Because I don't keep tombstones. I find them... Um, I'm going to be honest. I find them a little, a little embarrassing. You know, sometimes before an episode, I'll clear them out. You know, I don't want that in my world. I want to look like a, a good YouTuber, but that's not always the case. So yeah, we're going to have to, um, to, to kill ourselves a bunch today, and uh, and yeah, we're going to get that quad barrel shotgun. I am very excited. I am. I can't think of the last time we had a new shotgun in Terraria, uh, other than when they first added the shotguns. And even still, I can't remember when they even added those. I'm going to quickly assume that the shotgun was probably added in 1.2. Or, no, I really can't remember. I actually can't. I was going to say, maybe there's a, a hard mode shotgun. And I can't even remember if there's one of those. And I was going to say, I have this feeling like they added uh, a hard mode shotgun. And then later added 
one in pre-hard mode. Is that right or is that wrong? Because honestly, I don't have a clue. I really don't. I don't know why my, my knowledge of Terraria is so bad. Uh, but if I had to pick a reason, I would just say it's probably because um, it's it's mods. It's got to be mods, hasn't it? Right. So to, to basically off ourselves a bunch in the episode, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a bucket of lava. I think this is probably the, the quickest route. This kind of reminds me of modded in general because what I used to do in the uh, one of the Calamity series is I would always, um, I'd always try and kill myself to try and get the rage meter up. Do you remember that? Now I feel like we never get rage in general anyway. So, uh, so I guess it don't relate too much. A lawnmower. Oh, I think I forgot that he sold these. Country cap. All right, I don't want to buy anything from you. I do like golf in Terraria, and I hope that over the years to come, people make lots of um, adventure maps for it. I don't think I'm going to be the person to do it. I think that requires a lot of effort. All right, let's go grab... Oh, we already have a cloth ear. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, okay. Well, that's out the window. That's out the window. When did we get Nigel? Did we have Nigel yesterday? Because if we did, I feel kind of embarrassed. He's selling the, the plumber's outfit. That's kind of cool. Um, you know what? This is great little vanity if you want to get the um, the new wings from Moonlord. Right. Well, um, what a disappointment. What an absolute disappointment. Here I am thinking we're innovating. We're building new houses. We're trying to get something good. What an absolute waste of time. All right. Well, do you know what I need now? I need two buckets of lava. Right, because we're going to use them real quick. <laughs> okay, so first off, one of the things I did need to get today is the obsidian shield. Because we have the cobalt shield, and I want to give it an upgrade. Just so when we're in hell, we don't have to worry about, you know, just getting burnt all the time. Because it is kind of annoying. Let's be real. Right, let me grab my, my bucket real quick. I'm going to come back and grab another one in a minute. But I'm going to head home. I'm going to go use the pylon. And we are going to kill Nigel the Clothier. I think it was pretty obvious, but it's got to be done. All right, Nigel. I am... I don't know if... I'm not that sorry about it. <laughs> Look at him. You thought you would get out, didn't you, Nigel? You were wrong. Thank you for the red hat. I appreciate that. It's very nice. You see, the thing is, I killed a Clothier the other day when I was doing my uh, my summoner's run. And I used lava as well, and it took forever to kill him, and I couldn't figure out why. And I've only just clicked with me the reason why it took forever was because of the uh, the new combat technique book. I don't know if any of you have ever found this, because I know not everybody fishes in Terraria. But there's a reward from um, from Blood Moon Fishing that's basically a, um, a book that makes your NPCs stronger. Which is kind of cool, and I'm sure Game Raiders is going to make a cool video about it one day. I am waiting for it. It's, it's got to be done. Come on, Game Raiders. Um, if you don't know, by the way, for context, he has a series where he makes um, NPCs do various tasks to see which one is the strongest. And we have to see with the Combat Techniques book if it changes it at all. Um, but yeah, I, I only just clicked that, uh, that it saved it from the lava. Well, um, okay. Okay. I am a little bit sidetracked. All right. What did we, we're getting the lava to kill ourselves to make... Um, to make the, the graveyard thing. Does it fire out a, a gravestone if you kill yourself via lava? I'm sure it probably does. I'm sure it does. Oh my god. <laughs> it's like playing The Last of Us all over again. Wow. Okay. Right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put some lava down here. Because it's right next to our uh, bed, basically. And then what we'll do is we'll put any money we've got away... We had two silver, not that much. All right, let's start getting some tombstones. This shouldn't take too long. All right, so there's tombstone number one. What happens if it lands near something and it can't place? Like, can you still pick it up, or does it just it, does it just become part of the background? Oh, I really thought that the zombie would get it then. Let's go test that real quick. Oh, apparently I haven't set my spawn. All right, that was a bit of a waste. Oh, yeah, I'm meant to be a ranger. <laughs> See, I'm already forgetting. That's how much I, uh, I don't play ranger. Okay. Um, all right. Let's see. If I get rid of this, that should land, right? Yeah, it did. Okay. There's going to be a lot of ghosts around here soon. 
All right, so I have six tombstones and apparently that is all you need for the NPCs to start selling some of the uh, exclusive items. Now, I'm interested to see whether Caleb, and Caleb, if you don't know, is a frequent commenter on the channel who basically keeps count of all of the uh, the deaths that we have in the series. And I think he's been doing it, like, I'm going to say over a year now. It feels like it's been a very long time. He even does it for uh, Rage and Adrenaline in the, uh, in the Mage series. I'm curious whether he's going to count those six deaths as real deaths or it's going to become a subcategory of deaths that are required for special items. We'll have to see. I eagerly await that comment. All right. So since uh, since it's a blood moon, I do want to go make the uh, the graveyard now. But I think sometimes as a YouTuber, I think as a... Uh, oh my God. Well, that's definitely a real death. I can give you that. That's a real death right there. Yeah, I think sometimes as a YouTuber and I'm like, well, I kind of want to do it when the camera's bright and it looks nice and, and we can... Do you know what I mean? Do you, get, do you get what I'm saying? I think like that sometimes. Oh my God, as if there was a trap there. So yeah, what we're going to do instead is we are going to basically go grab uh, some of the obsidian and uh, and do that part. And then the only other thing that I want to do today is I want to make the uh, upgrade to the boots and to do that... I'm going to need a anklet, which I don't have, and an aglet, which I also don't have. But I do have a good idea for that. I think the anklet I'm going to get because I haven't found many dungeon chests anyway. But then the aglet, what I like to do for that one is what I'll usually do is like go through the world uh, on the surface with a Spelunk potion. And it's surprising how many starter chests that you miss out because they're hidden underground. So I'm hoping that will... Uh, Solve that issue, basically. Hey, look at that. It's Tim. All right. We just got the uh, the red hat, but usually I will swap it out if I can get a Tim's hat, because Tim's hat's even better. All right. Don't die. Okay. We're meant to be a ranger. I'm just so bad at this. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Tim. Yeah, get killed. Hey, wizard's hat. There are some who call him Tim. Oh, yeah. Forget it. It's an actual armor piece. So just real quick, a lot of people ask how I always get achievements in my episodes because what happens is basically once you've had an achievement, you don't get it again. Uh, the thing is, I reset my saves and my characters all the time so that um, so basically I have backups. So I don't really like keeping characters in one big folder because I find anyway, like once I'm done with a character, it just goes into the archive because I'm never going to use it again. So yeah, I reset my uh, my saves all the time uh, and my, my game files all the time. And that's how I get them. But I don't just do it for safety as well. I do it for like video ideas um, and stuff like that. Or like if I need to test something, I'll reset it and blah, 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 blah. But I do get that question a lot. I didn't even, this is the truth of it. I didn't even notice it was a thing until people started pointing it out to me. They were like, so why do you, why do you keep getting that achievement? I'm just like... Uh, and then I figured it out. I had to reverse engineer it. Okay, so that's enough obsidian for now. And I wonder if, uh, if the blood moon has, has been done yet. I think it might be. I think, I think we might have ended it. Let's see. Let's go back up to the surface. Hey, look at that. It's nice and bright. Okay. Yeah, we got a, we got a really sick vanity then. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a mannequin real quick uh here we go edgar no <laughs> no way it's got to be james and i'm just going to place that red hat there and that's for that's for good luck right that's for good luck do i have a, a vanity box i do nice okay let me let me clear up this inventory a little bit because it's kind of driving me mad if it's driving me mad it's definitely driving you lot even worse than what it drives me Hey, look at that. So yesterday, I think I left this in the edit. I was talking about the uh, the wrench weapon. Apparently, it's a 12.5% drop rate. That should be 100, because honestly, it's really good. Uh, I'm going to put the arms dealer in here, because we're going to buy a gun off of him. And I think if he's in the right biome, he's going to sell it a little bit cheaper. Something like that. And then, is there anything else I need to do? Oh, right. I'm going to move my cloth ear back to down here. So I'm going to move by the cat, which I do love. Uh, I'm going to put the demolitionist here 
I'm going to put Edgar up here. I feel bad because Edgar is actually a, a quite a nice name, right? I think a lot of people probably uh, associate it with uh, Felix. I know I do. So I do feel bad for killing uh, an Edgar, but James the Cloth of Year, though. Okay, uh, right. Let's move. We just need to move one NPC around again. And we are going to move our cat somewhere. Because uh, I kind of want to see the cat a little bit more. So does this still count as a room? It probably does. Right, buy the cat. It's going to live up here. All right, that's cool. I like that. Because I, I really like the pets in the new Terraria update. And I, I kind of want to have them around. All right, what do we do now? Oh, we sleep. That's it. We sleep. Till night time or the next day. And then all my NPCs will shift around on their own. Which is very nice. Oh, look at that. Blacksmith. I don't know if that's a name. <laughs> I think that's more of a profession. You know, like, I don't know. It's probably a tie-in with, um, with Dungeon Defenders. I mean, the whole event is, but the name probably is as well. Like, you can be, like, I don't know. That's It's having two jobs. Oh, nice to meet you. What's your name? Oh, my name is, uh, Plasterer, the doctor. Yeah, uh, I like to, um, to plaster up wounds. Oh, with, with, with plaster casts. You're like, people's broken arms. No, no, no. We use, we use plaster. Um, fixes them up real good. All right. It's a fresh day. So hopefully all the NPCs should be in the right place. And it looks like they are because the arms dealer's out here. So let's make my very first graveyard. Intentionally. Because I haven't... No, wait. I did make one before on a live stream. But I didn't even, like, do anything with it. I just did this. Okay. Right. Let's see. Quad barrel shotgun. 33 gold. Wow. When two or three just doesn't cut it. This sounds really cool. So it really is a, uh, a boomstick, but but doubled up. Okay. I'm down for it. Let's see how good it is. I really hope this is good. I do have a... I've got pretty... Um, I really want it to be good. What What's that called? Um, I've got... A, no. Uh, I don't know why my brain's just melting right now. What's that called? I'm anticipating something good. It's like I've got high expectations. Oh my god. <laughs> the mental gymnastics that, that took to get there. Wow. I think I need a, a cup of coffee. We have actually run out of coffee today. Uh, well, I just have decaf. And I don't think it's done anything for me. Obviously, it's decaffeinated. I thought placebo might work. But I can't say high expectations. Okay, let's try it out. Okay, it's <laughs> it's it's a quad barrel shotgun. What it? <laughs> I don't know what I really expected. It is cool. It is cool. Uh, so apparently there are uh, other things that you can buy in a graveyard. So I'm going to quickly pull up my phone, try and find them real quick. So the cloth here will sell you a graveyard digger's outfit. I don't think I, I really need that. The painter will sell. New paintings. Ooh, never more. All right, that's kind of cool. Cyborg is Echo Blocks. Obviously, we can't make that yet. Die Trader is Fogbound Die. Okay, Fogbound Die sounds really cool. So let's try that out. Why not? Considering um, considering we've got all this and we have a Die Trader right here. Ooh, I kind of like it. I do kind of like this. I think it's I think it's good. It is though. It's just a, it's a doubled up shotgun. <laughs> I don't know. I, don't, I really don't know what I was expecting, but I was expecting to be like, wow. You're like, whoa, what a game changer. Okay. So let's see uh, this die. Fogbound die. Six gold. Oh, we have a platinum. Wow. Okay. Uh, so I guess I'll get one, one of them to try it out. It's kind of cool, actually. I'm going to put one on my... On my horseshoe balloon. Yeah, it's kind of cool. I'll get two more. Do you know what? It fits in with the uh, the necro armor because necro armor is uh, is gray already. So it's more just like a little visual effect on top. Yeah, that's kind of cool. I kind of like it. It looks a little morbid in a good way. Let me zoom on in. Whoa. What do you think? Rate it out of um, rate it out of ten. And here's another question to you: What is your favorite die in Terraria? And do you even use dyes? Because I know I don't. I know that I never put on a die. I, I sell it instantly. But now that strange plants are like hard mode, I don't even do that. 
Do you reckon they made them hard mode because people sold them? I think so. It was an easy, uh, what was it, like 10 gold or something like that? Okay, well, let me put away some of my blocks. Uh, so what left, what we got left to do? We have the accessories, which I'll do now. Uh, and then after that, it is Wall of Flesh, which I'm not prepared for at all. Not really. But I think I could probably do it. I feel very overconfident in Master Mode. I don't feel like the challenge has stepped up uh, that much, which is good, you know? It's good for me. Is uh, it's not the best player in the world. Okay. Before we do that, let's give this a bit of a reforge. Since we do have a good bit of moolah. 11 gold, though. Alright, we'll give it two, okay? One. Keen, two. Keen. <laughs> Three. Slow. Oh, no. This is like watching somebody spiral into, into gambling. I'm just going to take Xelius and shut up. <laughs> I just wasted a lot of money. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's the quad barrel shotgun. It's the boomstick, boys. We're bringing it back. Yeah, all right. Accessories. Um, I got my Spelunker. I'm going to quickly run through the surface now and try and find an aglet. All right, so I've ran both sides of the world now, and I can't find an aglet, which is fine. I think what I'll probably do, though, is I'll probably just go grab one off a different world. Like... Finding one can't be that hard, right? You generate a new world, bam. Usually you found an aglet. Like, I feel like the, the one of the more common accessories. Um, but with that being said, we can always go get our anklet. And, uh, and yeah, we'll go we'll go check that out. All right. So, um, so one of the things I've been loving is that, obviously, the other day, I brought up the, uh, the conversation point about the flavor of crisps. And I brought it up because, obviously, I was talking about... All the flavors that you just can't get anymore. And uh, and I miss them. Like, I miss the uh, the full English breakfast uh, that they released many, many years ago. I did some research on that. Apparently, it was for the World Cup or something like that. I'm pretty sure it was. I'm pretty sure it's for the World Cup or, or something like that, right? I can't remember what I read. I read a lot, uh, but it didn't all go in. But what I've loved is that since then... Many English folk have been coming out to tell me their favorite flavor of crisps. And usually, it's something that's a little bit strange. Somebody brought up Cajun squirrel. Do you have Cajun squirrel crisps in America? You probably don't. Because I don't know who was like, all right, we can we can just call it Cajun squirrel. That sounds good to me. And then there was the, uh, the new batches. Which have been very nice, actually. I have been liking them. Like, they've got a, a new bunch at the minute, which is like Nando's uh, Chicken, which has been very good. Nando's is a, a chain chicken restaurant in Britain. Uh, Pizza Express Spicy Pizza. That's been a new flavor. Uh, God, what else? There's been a, a bunch of them. They're all like collaborations with, with restaurants and stuff. And I think this is so on brand because the amount of American people that have sent me a picture of a bag of crisps because they think that's where the word chippy comes from is, is amazing. Because you call crisps chips, right? And we call them crisps and we call chips, you call chips fries. So that's the confusion and the explanation. So yeah, it's been fun. All right, let's find this aglet. You see, the thing is, today, I thought we were going to do the Wall of Flesh, but now I'm looking at it, and I'm like, well, it's a pretty long episode already. But we're in no rush, so we'll probably do Wall of Flesh tomorrow. I just want my accessories and my upgrades, basically. Flippers. Uh, I'll take those. Splunk potions are, are pretty lit. I'll put those back in. All right. That was not a, a bad find, actually. All right. So, I haven't found my anklet or my aglet. So, like, not the best day in the world. That's fine. Uh, but I want to shift my attention to something else because there is something that I've never crafted before that I have actually been wanting to um, to check out for a while now. So, I thought we could do that instead. So, what I want to make is a void bag. I've never made a void bag. Uh, Ped made me one on, a, on one of the live streams. And he did it while I was, like, away from camera anyway. So I never really got to check it out. Uh, all that I know is that a lot of the time, uh, some of your essential items will probably get sucked there. Like, I know it's going to happen to me. And then I'll forget about where they are. But I do actually want to check one out. Because um, it's a new feature of 1.4. And I want to see as much as 1.4 
as uh, as possible. I think I am nearing that point where I'm ready to make my video about my favorite things in 1.4, which is going to be pretty exciting. I'm also ready to make a list of all the things that I don't like in 1.4 because there are a few little like um, stat changes I would make uh, to maybe make the update a little bit better or maybe some feedback or suggestions. I don't know. Uh, but I am ready to make that soon, which is going to be fun. But yeah, I need to experience it all before I can talk about it. So I'm fairly certain a void bag is made out of spores. I'm pretty sure it's made out of scales as well. And I'm wondering why I don't have any scales. Like, what did I do with them? Did I flog them all? I could have seen myself doing that quite easily. I probably did. Oh, I need to make my, uh, my upgrade as well. So let me do that first. So I will make the obsidian skull. And then we're going to mix that with our shield. And then, let's see. Bam! We have the obsidian shield, which I'm going to give a reforge to soon. So maybe we need to get some more um, some more scales then. Well, all right, I can do that. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think I don't think I have any. I think it's. We'll go and check. We'll go speak to the guide because I actually don't know. <laughs> I know that it's spores and something. All right, Cody, please. What is it? So a void bank is made out of shadow scales, bones, and spores. So I need some more jungle spores as well. And then the vault is made out of uh, the same thing, but but less. All right, okay. Well, we can set that up today. So let me just check real quick. And my corruption... I was going to see if I had like a, a natural spawning amount of orbs, but I don't. So let's have a little look here. Have I got enough stuff to, um, to maybe spawn one in myself? Why do I feel like I've got nothing on this character? <laughs> like, where's the, where's the rotten meat? So, it's only just clicked with me that uh, probably you want to see this. Um, I just started the fight and didn't really think about it. But um, here is the uh, the quad barrel shotgun against the Eater of Worlds. Pretty great, right? Like, I feel like you can notice uh, a step up from the, um, from the boomstick. Is it actually better than the boomstick? I am going to say yes. But once again, I don't know if it's that, like, new weapon hype or it's placebo. How many shots does a boomstick fire? Because... I'm assuming two, but I kind of think three. I don't actually remember. I swear, I am part of Boomstick Boys, but my, my memory is just not the best with, with stuff like that. <laughs> but the funny thing is, I probably used a Boomstick as, like, what, more than most weapons in Terraria by far. Like, that and the Water Bolt are, like, my go-tos in, in any pre hard mode run. Especially if I'm, like, playing on my own. But, yeah, this fight's going amazing. I feel like the Meteorite Bullet... Uh, are pretty great at this as well. Like, I like them bouncing around. It's a very satisfying fight. Yeah, I think if you've got the, the Moolah, I mean, 30 gold's a lot for pre-hard mode Terraria. Um, so it's not like you could get this straight away. But you could, for example, get an Arms Dealer, and then you could get a Graveyard, a little bit of Moolah, and there you go. You've got a, a pretty beasty weapon before you've gone to the um, to the jungle. I don't know if anybody's going to commit to that, but um, but the option's always there, right? All right, come on. There we go. Nice. Did I get anything new? Nope. Okay. Got another worm scarf. It's all right. We're going to sell all this. 100 shadow scale. Look, if I go home and it's like quick stack straight away, I'm going to be I'm going to be mortified. All right. Brand new fresh day. Okay, let's check this out. So, I'm going to need to grab some bony boys. Uh, are they around? Where did I put those? Why am I so confused today? <laughs> Like, where actually are they? Oh, they're up there. Okay. All right. Crisis averted. I think it's just safe to say I clearly need some coffee. Like, I'm not I'm not doing well without it. All right. Have I got everything? I have. Where do you even make this? If I find out it's hard mode, I'm going to... A demon altar? Really? Why a demon altar? That's a little bit strange. That is a little bit odd. All right. Well, looks like we're off to, uh, to a demon altar. This doesn't seem like a thing... You should just be able to make this, right? When uh, when mods come out for 1.4, somebody get on that. <laughs> somebody somebody get that made. Okay, right. Well, we have a million demon otters. It's pretty hard mode at the end of the day. So, I will make the void bag. And I don't have enough for the void vault. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. All right. So, I want to test this out for people that have never seen it before. 
But basically, what the Void Bag does is it will suck up items if your inventory is filled, and it will take them to a, to a personal storage, which is inside of here. So I'm going to dump... Um, what should I dump on the floor? Let's put something down that we, we, we don't have room for, or something we can't double up. That's actually kind of hard. Um, <laughs> all right, we'll do that. Okay, so I'm going to put this down. Did I put the spores on the floor? They're there, all right. Let's see. And just like that, they went into my um, into my void bag. Kind of cool, right? It's nifty. All right, well, with that, I think I'm going to round up the episode there. We did make some some good improvements. I'm going to go get the uh, the lightning boots though before the next episode because that's going to drive me mad. You need them in hard mode. They're, they're pretty essential. So as always, a huge thank you to all the members that are rolling by on screen right now. Remember, if you did make it this far to the end of the video, be sure to give the video a big fat thumbs up. Goes a long way. Helps out the channel. You know, it's always good. And if you are new around here, maybe consider clicking the subscribe button. If you're into Terraria and you like my style, you want to hear about crisps, I got you covered. Okay, I got you covered. Join the couch gang, find a couch in game, you know the drill. All right, well, with that, I'm going to say goodbye. I'm going to go out. I'm going to go buy coffee. All right, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you all tomorrow. Peace.